Hello everyone, it's Monica from EDAC. Today I will show you how to create three different materials. There will be materials for cabinet fronts, wooden legs and metallic handle. I will show you all the most important rules and techniques in creating photorealistic materials. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's start with the cabinet material. Open the Asset Editor and in the Diffuse tab choose a dark green color for the cabinet. Go to Reflection tab. Reflections are key for making materials look real. Reflection color is the intensity of reflection. I set it to white for intense reflections. Reflection glossiness is the sharpness of reflections. I will upload a map from a folder. Let's apply the material to the cabinet. To check the mapping, I will copy map from Reflection Glossiness and paste it to Binding tab. Change Texture Mode to Custom and paste the map over here. The mapping in SketchUp has changed. It is too small. We need to adjust its dimensions. I increase these values. It looks better. Let's render the scene. Reflections are too strong and sharp due to the uploaded map in the Reflection Glossiness. We need to change the intensity of this map. We can do this by mixing a map with a gray color using the Mix Value option. I right-click on the Texture slot, rub in, and click on Mix Value. In color A, I choose a soft gray. In color B, a map is uploaded automatically. Let's move on to blend them out. Zero means that the only map is visible. One means only the chosen color appears. I choose a blend amount to 0.8. It looks much better. Let's compare it to the previous version. Now the reflections are enhanced, making the cabinet material more realistic. Next, I will run the cabinet edges using the BAMP tab. I change BAMP mode to Local Space BAMP, click on the texture slot, and choose Edges. Adjust the width to 0.2 for a smoother rounded edge appearance. The cabinet looks great. Let's move on to the next material. In the Diffuse tab, select the color for the handle. Set Reflection color to white and upload a map for Reflection glossiness. Although it's highly reflective, it lacks true metallic properties. Enhance the metallic effect by increasing metalness to 1. In the Binding tab, switch Texture Mode to Custom and paste the texture from Reflection Glossiness. Apply the material to the handle. The mapping is too small. I need to increase its dimensions. It's done. Let's render the scene. Let's see that the metallic texture that I have uploaded to Reflection Glossiness is visible. It looks fine but we can create something different. To do this, change the material by blending the reflection map with a color using the Mix Value option. I set a gray color in color A. In color B, the map is uploaded. Let's adjust the blend amount to 0.8. Look at the render scene. Know that the map from Reflection Glossiness is subtly visible and the material differs. You can choose the metallic material that best suits the model. Let's work with the wood material in our next step. This method is versatile and works for different wood textures. In the Diffuse tab, add a map from the folder. If you want to change the map's color, use the Mix Operator function. The map is uploaded in Texture A, and in Texture B, pick the color for mixing. It will be dark brown color. Change the operator to multiply and set mix amount to 0.8 for a darker material. Let's move on to reflections. Set a relatively high value for reflection color, somewhere in the middle or even higher. For reflection glossiness, use the same map as in the diffuse. Desaturate it by right-clicking, selecting Rubin, and choosing Color Correction. Set Saturation to minus 1. And it's done. Adding a bump is optional. If desired, keep the value low to avoid affecting the material negatively. Copy the map from Reflection Glossiness to Bump. Click on the Texture slot and adjust Brightness and Contrast. 
set the amount to 0.02. Apply the material to the cabinet legs. If there are mapping problems, select the model and use Try Planar Projection Word or Fit. Word adjusts texture placement independently of object scaling, while Fit scales the texture to the object size. Experiment and choose the better looking option. Increase the material's dimensions if it's necessary. With the wood material set, add accessories and render the scene. These three materials together create an impressive visualization. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edark.org. You will find there many free assets, V-Ray courses, articles, and 3D models. See you there. Bye.